All right, can you say your first and last name and spell them for me, please? Zalik Keith, Z-A-L-I-K, Keith, K-E-I-T-H. Okay, I mean, it's it's almost 10 years since the Flint water crisis. Talk to me about the trust of the water. I mean, flat out, do you do you trust the water? Um, I don't at all, and you shouldn't trust it, but um, I know that apparently you're not supposed to, like, uh, drink the water or whatever. You're supposed to be able to bathe in it, but that seems unconclusional, so I wouldn't trust it at all. Talk to me about, like, when it first started when, you know, everybody was late to telling. Like, the government didn't flat out tell people it wasn't safe to drink until well after the fact. I mean, where were you when you kind of found out that that wasn't something that you could drink? Um, I was still in high school. I'm an old man now. I'm 28. So I was going to Carmen, and I figured out that um, the water had, like, extreme amounts of lead in it. When that lady uh, posted the video and she had, like, brown water. So, um... I guess I was probably like around your age when I figured out what was wrong and um, it was like just a super panic situation like we didn't know what to do at all so Political? yeah Un unfortunately okay um, I buy like a thousand bottles a month that's what I'm doing here now yeah but unfortunately um I still have to shower in it and stuff like that. And my hair grows extremely slow, so I feel like it has something to do with the lead. <laughs> like, yeah, so. Okay. What, what would it take for you to cross the water? Um, a few years back, maybe about six years ago, they did this thing where they gave everyone, like, um, filters. But um, that didn't work good enough. So I would say for me to trust the water again, I would literally have to see a process of the pipes getting dug out and fixed and put back. And until then, I'm probably not gonna trust the water ever again. Pretty sure everyone feels the same. What are you worried most about? Legionnaires, not gonna lie. Because um, uh, I'm not gonna say his name, but my nephew, he's kind of like a hard head, and he keeps drinking the water. Like he has like a, uh, I know you guys heard of the Stanley Cups. He has a Stanley Cup. So you spend all that money on the cup to put this water in it. It doesn't make any sense. So that's my biggest concern is people just feeling like, ah, I've been dealing with it for all this time, I'll be okay. And then you can still get sick. So we need to spread the concern of, it's not too late. Don't just, oh, nothing's happened to me yet. I don't have bumps all over my face so I can drink the water. You can still get sick. Have you seen anybody get sick? I mean, since starting here, have you seen anybody get sick and possibly that happen? I actually haven't, but just the thought of it is terrifying, to be honest. Yeah. Well, not at all. Not at all. I have a, because um, I don't stay too far from here, and I have a filter on my water, and I put it, like, in a freezer, and I check it, and it's like when you get bottled water, and then the water from the sink, and you look at it, it's like particles floating around, and you can see minerals and all this crap, and it's just, like, it's horrible. Thanks. Appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. Thank you, sir.